Hey there and welcome back to another daily market analysis. In today's video you will see how patience actually pays off and how we took a profit on one trade and a loss on the second one. So stay tuned. Hi guys and girls and welcome back to the channel. Now it's Friday and we are still in one trade from yesterday which is the Aussie USD the Gartley pattern. I think it is Gartley, not bad. Yeah, the Gartley pattern. But we will come to Gartley when we come to that pair. Basically, yesterday was, was very busy day. It continues to go, what? I don't know. I'd say slow today. There is nothing that I can see it here that I might... Okay, there might be one pattern. We're going to use this leg. The leg that would stop out... out Stop us out yesterday for an X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D leg. Okay, so we're gonna see what's gonna happen. If that's gonna happen, then oh, um, yeah, I need bad to go overboard our soul before I uh, put my pending orders in. That's it for it on USD CAD, Aussie CAD. Let's see. <coughs> what do we have here? So, um, there might be something like this, X to A, A to, yeah, I think this one, this candle right there touched it, yeah, so we have an X to A, A to B, B to C, and C D completion. I need, again, a price to go or overbought our result, but I, what I can do is set price alert at a ask here. I can also go back to USD CAD and do the price alert as well. <coughs> price, up, up. Price, price alert. Yes. So that's it. Aussie USD. So here's what happened yesterday. As you as you saw in the video, we just took this trade because this was the only one per our rules. Trade barely triggered us both of our positions because I don't know how to uh, take half of a position off at and my take profit one which was around this level so it came to the pip it triggered us to for uh, take profit one level look okay so we got out we take profit one here we we per our rules we have to be in a trade so it valid up came like what how many two pips to my target two we didn't close it. I was just waiting, doing nothing. And now it, it rallied a little bit down. I hope it will reverse and hit my target uh, later today. If not, it, the second target position is going to be, um, you know, another winner. It's going to hit my stop loss uh, for a break even or what. what let, let's see what do we have here. P uh, positions. Grass I swap so yeah I need to adjust it for a swap how much is okay there we go so now I, I won't be it won't be a losing trade for this small amount of money it will actually be an actual break even trade anyway euro dollar okay now we might have a bath today because as I said yesterday we had an X to A some people got uh, A to B like here but we did not so we have X to A A to B B to C C to D completion, that's definitely a, a bad pattern here for us, one of the most profitable pairs for me. So I'm going to wait and set my pending orders uh, definitely today, hoping it will win again, because my, or maybe first time on a live trading room, live video. Uh, okay, GBP USD after it blew us up, then rallied to hit our targets, uh, it rallied down, there is nothing here. Some people might maybe can see X to A to B. This is not the next point for me. This one would be and uh, I don't see. Yeah, there that there is nothing here for me and a pound yen. Yep, actually yesterday it, it, it we didn't take it because of a time a time period. We need to trade until uh, 1 p.m. candle close. Uh, this uh, C trader shows candle open, which is noon. That means that this candle actually opens at noon, noon, 12 o'clock, and closes at one. So and we didn't get activated. So I closed my pending orders after this candle, and uh, the next candle would activate me in a trade, 
and the one after that would blew me out. So that's the power again of backtesting. With that being said, guys, so let's recap real quickly. <clears throat> we have a potential bad here. We have an Aussie USD. What do we have there? We also have a bat here. We have an Aussie USD. We have nothing. We are still in the trade. I'm sorry, Aussie CAD. Aussie USD, we are still in the trade. Euro dollar, we have a bad potential. Pound dollar, nothing. And pound dollar, yen, nothing. Uh, with that being said, you know, make sure to click that like button, click that subscribe button, and smash that bell button. If Anyway, if you have any questions or comments whatsoever, please leave them down below. And... Hope to see you in the afternoon session, which will begin in a few seconds. Thank you very much and talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Hey, hey there, and welcome back to the afternoon session on this happy Friday. I'm not saying happy because I won, but it was pretty uh, busy Friday. Let's say again, we got engaged in two trades and one of them uh, lost. The other one, uh, no, actually, sorry, guys. So we got engaged into one trade, Euro Dollar Gartley. We lost immediately within... The hour, the candle that activated us in the trade, filled our position, actually closed us out as well for uh, 24 pips loss. And uh, we actually had a winner on the Aussie USD Gartley from yesterday, from Valentine. We actually hit the second position, which uh, made us more pips than the loss of the Euro USD Gartley. So on USD CAD, I also placed my pending orders uh, because I saw a pattern today. The pattern was uh, this here. Uh, the pattern was this X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D, but price didn't came and didn't activate me. I still have an hour to go, but uh, price needs to go overbought and oversold. Uh, this is a bad pattern just for you to see. So as you can see here, it didn't touch the 50 percent, uh, didn't touch the 61. So it's a bad pattern. And because because one little thing, because this candle right here has a chance to close uh, out of the yeah. So 45, there is a slow chance, small chance that the, it will go or bother or sold. I will cancel my positions and just double check in an in like 50 minutes, 15 minutes. Did I do good thing or not? If I did then I have no chance of getting back into this trade today. Okay, so maybe maybe next week, but not this week. Aussie CAD, I had a few ideas today on this pair. One of the ideas was, of course, the one that you see on the screen, A, X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D completion down there. That did not happen. And uh, I Gartley, you might trade Gartley's. I'm not on this pair, so there is a Gartley. So this would be a Gartley X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D. Just check your ratios. I'm not sure. Is it even a Gartley for me? Yeah, yeah I think it. Yeah, it, I think it will be. Just check your data because of this candle. Let me zoom in. Yeah, it did. It did touch. So yeah. So right now you would be in uh, almost getting filled on 27 extension. Uh, Aussie USD pair actually hit our targets too with this candle right there. I I have uh, recorded the Instagram story so you can check it out there as well. Nothing else besides this. I was actually thinking, uh, let me see something, but I do not take bats on it. There is a bat if you find this week valid. So bat would be X to A, A to B. B to C and C to the completion. The price actually came to the completion, and now uh, you would be in a trade. You will wait for your first position, uh, first targets, which would be at the level of, let's see, all the way to here. You would be up, I don't know, a few pips right now, four pips. So this would be your first target, and your second target would be 61.8. That's it. Euro dollar, uh, the guard leap. So yeah, you had actually two Gartleys. One would be this one here. This would be a Gartley if you if you saw it. I I I saw this one, but I this axis lowers, so I set it up to this this like it just depends on you. And uh, this candle, <laughs> look at this. It stopped me out so quickly. Within an hour, my stop loss is at 113 inversion. So if you check it out. 
stop me out, reverse back and hit both of the targets. That would be my targets if you trail, you see, 38 and 61. Yep. So that was a Gartley losing trade for 24 pips, pound dollar. There is something here if you trade it, but uh, yeah, I'm, it didn't come to target and uh, I don't think it will. I did set my uh, alarm. Look. X to A. A to B here. Sorry, X to A. A to B right there. B to C here. C to D completion up there. I still need to wait an hour, and but the uh, rules for bar, uh, bats are we should not go overbought, oversold. We did not go overbought, oversold, but I think we are far from it. And uh, for the pips, the pound dollar can move. It's a big mover, but I don't think it will. So I'm still waiting for the alarm to kick off. And then eventually, if, it, if, if that happens, I will definitely be in, in this trade as well. So let me just show you the for those who don't see at least it is for me you know it just depends on on your rules i'm just trading here based on the stuff that i back tested and i have to take everything that i back tested so that would be a guard that would be a bad for me but if we do not go overbought our soul if we do go overbought our soul i won't be able to take this trade uh pound yen there is nothing finally on pound yen for me for uh today yeah, with that being said, also one more thing, make sure to click that like button, yeah, <laughs> click that subscribe button and smash that bell button. Again, thank you very much for staying with us until the end of this video and hope to catch you up next Monday. Hope you enjoyed the content. Bye-bye and have a nice weekend. Cheers. Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention and I forgot to show you is my spreadsheet. So as you can see here, uh, currently, we are uh, 7 pips up overall, but a 57% winning rate. And we are actually down a few bucks uh, because of the position sizes and the values of pips per each pair. But currently we are in profit in regards to pips. So not a bad start for live trading for me. I actually love, love what's happening right here. I love and enjoy following my plan. And we will see what will this year bring us i'm hoping to get a return of more than 20 percent and i'll be adding more and more strategies as we move throughout the year so yeah that's it again thank you and speak to you soon bye bye